Apple trees were the most popularly grown fruit tree in colonial America and practically every settlement farm and backyard gardener planted this easily grown fruit tree, or easier, the seed of the apple could be planted to establish a permanent food supply. Growing these apple tree products could be eaten fresh or could be dried and preserved in many different ways to eat at a later time. Historical instances on the existence of apple trees are documented from folklore, legends, stone images on carved tablets, petrified slices of apples on plates for tomb offerings, and overwhelming numbers of references from Hebrew Bible scriptures and innumerable writings from poetry, songs, literary publications, and many other surviving accounts of all civilizations in the ancient world. Wild crab apple tree seeds appeared on the list of collected seeds in the plant list of 1783 of William Bartram and his father, John Bartram. In William Bartram's book, Travels in 1773, he observed amongst them, fruit trees, the wild crab, Pyrus coronaria, in his explorations near Mobile, Alabama. Robert Prince established the first operating nursery in the American colonies at Flushing, New York, in the 1700s, where he offered apple trees for sale at his nursery that was visited by General George Washington, who later became the first president of the United States. Crab apple trees produce a fruit that is much smaller than the common apple, but it can be used in cooking in various ways and it is loved by wildlife in the fall and winter when wildlife food is scarce for animals and birds. Crab apple trees are also valuable when used as flowering trees that begin blooming in early spring with huge clusters of pink, white, and even red blossoms. Several outstanding grafted flowering tree selections are available, such as, Brandywine, Red Perfection, Radiant, and Spring Snow.